I am the Nature Hacker, and this is your world. Today I'm going to talk about how to make nitric acid. So, um, as a chemist, I'm basically a nutritional chemist, um, I, I get worried about some things, and it's one of those things is the economy collapses and society crumbles into the Stone Age. Yes, I'm actually worried about that, and probably many of you are as well. Now, part of what I do requires chemicals, okay? That's just the way it is. I have to have chemicals in order to do what I do. Um, a lot of those chemicals are acids and bases. Bases I have lock, stock, and barrel. You know, the, the only base you really need is lye, and you can easily make that with calcium oxide and um, potassium carbonate, that both of those can be gotten from ashes. So base is easy, I got that down. Acid is not as easy. We got phosphoric acid, we got sulfuric acid, we got hydrochloric acid, we got nitric acid. How are we gonna make all those types of acid when society crumbles, you know? You know, we're not gonna, you know, most people think that sulfuric acid is the only acid that you need, which is true. It can be the only acid you need. Um, you can make all other acids from sulfuric acid just as long as you got some phosphorus or you got some nitrates or you got some uh, salt you can make um, you can make phosphoric um, nitric and um, hydrochloric respectively if you have those other ingredients so that's great you have sulfuric acid you're good but you know what sulfur is not that easy to come by like I don't know where I would be able to get sulfur to make sulfuric acid and making sulfuric acid is not just as simple as getting some sulfur you know it's you got to oxidize it so that's not easy to do to oxidize it now what if we could make the king of all acids sulfuric acid is not the king acid the king acid is nitric because nitric we can make sulfuric easy because nitric has the oxidizing potential to make sulfuric nitric can make hydrochloric nitric can make phosphoric and when you have nitric you really don't need any other acids to tell you the truth I mean, I can't think of anything, you know, you, you might need some hydrochloric to help dissolve tough metals. So all, what do you do is you take nitric acid, you work on dissolving the metal, throw in some salt, and you get your hydrochloric, and you're good. So really, all you need is nitric acid. So I was like, alright, how can we make nitric acid? You know, the current methods are sulfuric acid plus potassium nitrate and you distill that all right but you know we don't have sulfuric acid right so how else can we make nitric acid you know you can um, you can create plasma in the air some people have done that made nitrogen dioxide or something which is not practical at all in a survival situation well we can make potassium nitrate pretty easily all you do is you get yourself a bucket of plant ashes you just burn some wood collect those ashes, throw them in a bucket, and you just start peeing in that bucket. You just keep peeing in the bucket. And over time, I don't know the exact process, but over time it will turn into potassium nitrate because there's potassium carbonate in the ashes. You peeing gives it urea, and then the urea breaks down into um, ammonia. Well, it breaks down into nitrates. I don't know exactly, but... The urea breaks down ultimately into nitrates. The nitrates react with the potassium to form potassium nitrate. So we have the potassium nitrate. Now how do we get to, you know, like, like in the case of sulfuric acid, how do we get an acid to add to the nitrates to give us nitric acid? Well, we need to know what's happening in the sulfuric acid reaction. Lots of people think that you're making nitric acid because sulfuric acid is a stronger acid and it's um, acidifying that nitrate. And you have to have a stronger acid to acidify the nitrate to get nitric acid. That is wrong. That is not true. You do not have to have a stronger acid than nitric acid to make nitric acid. You don't need that. Any acid you add to potassium nitrate, you will have an equilibrium with nitric acid. Nitric acid will be created. If your acid is not that strong, 
you're not going to create that much nitric acid. Okay, I'm making some nitric acid right now. Let me uh, go bring that over here right now. All right, so I got some, I don't know if you can see it fuming. Oh, oh, God. oh frig, man. Nitric acid. Can you see the, the smoke coming off of that? Kind of towards the top of your screen. That's nitric acid coming off. And what this is right here is this is a solution of phosphoric acid and potassium nitrate. And we're getting nitric acid steaming off the top. Beautiful. That's a brand new thing. Nobody's done that before. Because everybody thinks you have to have sulfuric acid to make nitric, which is untrue. So, like I was saying, all right, so you don't have to have an acid stronger than nitric acid to make nitric acid. Any acid you add to nitrate, you will get an equilibrium with a little bit of nitric acid, a little bit of phosphoric, whatever acid you have in there, there'll be an equilibrium, okay? The weaker the acid you use, the less nitric acid will be in that equilibrium. Now, how do we push that reaction forward to get it all to transfer into nitric acid? Well, you just saw right there, you heat it up. Nitric acid has a boiling point that is quite low. So, what happens is, you put your acid and your um, nitrate together, and you heat it up, and what happens is, the little bit of nitric that's in there will boil off. Now, there's no more nitric acid, so more nitric acid gets created, and that boils off, and then more nitric acid gets created, that boils off, because the boiling off makes room for more to be created. So, as long as you have a heat source and a way to condense that vapor of nitric acid, you have nitric acid from any acid and a nitrate, okay? The only caveat is that your acid that you're using has to have a higher boiling point than nitric acid so that the nitric acid will boil off while the other acid stays put. Now, phosphoric acid makes a great alternative to sulfuric. You can easily make, like I just showed you, you can make nitric acid from phosphoric acid and the nitrate. But phosphoric acid is not that easy to make in a survival situation. The only acid that's really friggin' easy to make in a survival situation is acetic acid. And thank goodness, acetic acid's got a boiling point of like 50 degrees above nitric acid, so it'll work perfectly. It'll work like a charm to make nitric acid. So, how do you make acetic acid? Well, that's really easy. Acetic acid is vinegar. You take some sugar, you ferment it with yeast, you get ethanol, okay? You take that ethanol, you ferment it with bacteria, and you get acetic acid. So if you just, you put sugar and yeast in an open container and you just leave it out, eventually you'll get vinegar. Now, how do you concentrate vinegar into acetic acid? Well, what you do is you, it's, it's called glacial acetic acid because you make it by freezing it. So you freeze the um, acetic acid, and I believe the acetic acid is the one that will stay unfrozen, something like that. It's like making, um, what is it called, like frozen cider or something, is you freeze it and the acetic acid um, has a different freezing point than water so you separate it like that you keep you freeze it take the water out freeze it take the water out keep doing that until you get concentrated glacial acetic acid then you just pour your acetic acid in and add your potassium nitrate from your p ash experiment and you just boil it off and you got nitric acid vapors coming off just pure clean nitric acid vapors that will make you cough and gag like I did with those vapors. All right. Now, all you have to do is you have to have something that will condense those vapors. So you put, you can, you know, if you're in a survival situation, take a piece of glass and put some ice on the top of it and you're going to, uh, you're going to catch some of that condensation. You know, you can rig up a ghetto, uh, distill, uh, distiller like that. So 
That's how you make it. I hope I just blew your mind and opened up the possibilities of nitric acid and chemistry in an utter breakdown of society. You can still be a chemist. So thanks for watching. I am the Nature Hacker. Go do work.